This episode we will be painting one of the artillery crewmen from the new mid-war Africa Corps range. It's quite a simple figure but it's worthwhile demonstrating the painting as it's made of the new flexible plastics. So you maybe want to see how um, we can approach the painting of these guys using the, the high contrast layering style. So we shall start with the tunic. And I'm just going to keep a fairly standard approach. I've tried various colours, but uh, I, I find that when everything's finished, this looks just as good and it's my bog standard grenadier colour. I may go for a lighter colour at some point, but um, this works fine. So you can see it's fairly featureless um, on the back here. So we need to be painting in some detail. So let's start with the collar. Let's just, just imagine where some folds will be. And just create a bit of shape that way. This technique doesn't tie you to the shape of a figure in a way that washing and dry brushing would do, where the paint needs to follow the shape. Here we have the freedom of painting what we want to a degree. There's some folds on the pocket, so we can follow that. Bit more in here, don't want to leave too much shade. And then let's bring this collar around. the collar and the arm. Now the arm itself, I can see a fold here. Here and here. Then I need to go over the top a little here. Get rid of that shade. underneath and then over onto well actually I've them here just a little underneath there make sure we get rid of the shade there's a wee hint of a pocket there so just paint around that. I've got a fold, a fold, another fold there. And then as usual the back of the arm, there's not too much happening there, so just paint a few lines, bring them together, and you've got some folds in there too. Uh, a cap. Just try and follow the standard shape of the German field cap. There's some detail on the top of the cap. A 
as the base color. So to highlight this, um, now then, where did I put that paint? I maybe didn't mention, sorry folks. Um, as I said, it's a standard color I use. What are the standard colors? Panzer Aces 335 German Tank Crew, that's the base color. The highlight I'm using is Panzer Aces 336 Africa Corps Tank Crew. Um, nice bright edge. Um, sort of highlight rather to catch the edges. So I switch to a smaller brush. And start catching these edges where possible. You want your, sh your highlight colour to be right beside the shade colour for the maximum level of contrast. And then a bit along the bottom as well. It doesn't have to be too strong there though. Oh, excuse me. And then this shade that we created in the back. Let's just pick that out. A little under the collar and the top of the collar. The arm meets the shoulder. A couple in the folds and where the cuff is. Now your paint has to be nice and flowing for this because these are really small lines. And now the brush is drying out. So I'll just, <coughs> excuse me, just get a refresh and back in again. Around the back. And then on the cap. And that is, excuse me, that is a uniform, or well the tunic, part of the uniform, completed with the exception of here. I want a bit of highlight around there. Well, that was all fairly normal, what we'd expect to see from painting any figure, so that's good to see. Now for the trousers, I'm going to paint them in the sort of theatre colour of, um, sort of sandy colour I'm using. Uh, Bellagio model colour medium grey, that's 987. Back to the slightly larger brush, and there's plenty of detail on these trousers. Plenty of folds. So we can just go through, pick them out. The 
this is quite a light colour so I may go back in and give it another coat. So we shall give that just a minute. And whilst we're waiting on that, I'm going to paint the areas that need to be black. So we've got the boots. Nice and simple, and then the binoculars. I'm going to be painting the binoculars grey, so I need a black shade colour. There we go. So let's go back to the trousers, thicken up a bit, get rid of any uh, excessive shade. See if I can get in here this angle. And there you go. We shall let that dry and in the meantime I shall put the highlight on the boots of German Grey model colour 995. This will also be on the uh, binoculars. So this is going to be very, very simple. A few strokes just to add a bit of depth to the shape. No more highlighting than that. And the binoculars, grey to be the main colour, so we just want to leave a little bit of black. Now to highlight the trousers, we're going to use model colour 986 Depth Tan. It's a very bright colour and it will really give a bleached and weathered look to the trousers. So see if I can get my brush angled right. So just as before, I'm looking for the shade, wherever possible, the highlight will be right beside it. Oops. Clean my brush, put it in the wrong paint. A little bit of a strong line. And that's the trousers highlighted. 
I'm going to put a small highlight on the binoculars. I'll be using London Grey model colour 836 London Grey. It's a very, very small amount. Just a little dash on the top, on the bottom, a little bit down the side, and that's it. It just gives it a little bit of shape. Now we're on to the skin. Now faces. There are some issues with the faces. You can't see a hell of a lot of detail that you might be able to see on a well sculpted metal figure. But a face is the same. You know, it's in the same place on the body. It'll have the same features. So. It's got a brow. It's got a nose. Paint's too wet. A mouth and a chin, cheekbones, ear, and then there's a, a bit of neck showing. Now that could have been a, a totally flat featureless piece of plastic and we could still have done that, so it's still quite possible to paint these figures even with any concerns over the the depth of detail on the face and before I forget let's do the hands oh sorry I did not mention um, my standard base colour for skin model colour 826 or 25 I'm not sure what that is but it's German camel pale brown A little bit here, I think I've just spotted, which is part of the binoculars. So I'll just fix that. I'll put a bit of grey back on top. So, highlight this is the important bit. I'm using game colour bronze flesh tone number 72036. Excuse me, I'll start giving us a good shake. So, small brush for this. I'm going to repeat the process, but with smaller strokes, I hope, this time. In the back of the hand, index finger, other fingers and thumb. And there you go, that's a recognisable face. And that's just more or less, more or less just painted straight on. Just attend to that wee correction. Now, I forgot to get my brown ready. Got a satchel, which I'm going to paint 
German Camel Medium Brown, that's Moro Colour, 826. So this is quite nicely shaped. Easy to pick out the features. And whilst we're at it, we'll do his belt. As that dries, I'm just going to do the final wee correction on the binoculars. Back to that highlight colour, London Grey. Just a wee touch. So the highlight colour I'm using for my uh, leather, for sort of worn weather, uh, uh, worn uh, leather is orange brown model colour 981. Just needs a tiny, tiny little amount of this. Right, so across the top. And around the edges. Around the belt. Brush has got to try already. buckle on there so I'm going to paint that with a German grey and I shall give it a highlight with London grey. Now is it Apple X one moment? Excuse me, Fox, right? Cork brown. As an artilleryman, he's going to have brown waff and farb. Um, I use cork brown because it's noticeably brown, but it's also noticeably bright. Now, these are really quite small features on this, which is just to do with the way they're sculpting more than anything. So, I'm just going to give it a little brown dash. And there's that feature on the shoulders. Back to this belt buckle. It's tucked in. Out of the way, but just a wee uh, line around three sides. And there you go. It's taking the paint well. I have not had any issues with it at all. Took the undercoat well. So I don't think there's any huge complaints about how you can make these look. You just have to see how your style suits the material. But there you go. Flexible plastic, North African German artilleryman.